the value of x squared. Well, we can use this. This is the expected value of x squared minus um, 2 times x times the expected value of x um, plus uh, the expected value of x squared. Um, so from this this thing down here, what we know is is that um, oh what, sorry what's that? Yeah, so we can separate them out. So the expected value of x squared minus two times um, the expected value of x um, e x, which actually, um, if you think about it, this is just a constant factor. And um, if you go back here and you you know you look at this, if if I put a five in here to this particular thing, um, if I ask you for uh, x expected value of x, if I, in other words, if I put a particular value 5 in here, it would factor out. So in fact, um, this is basically a plus expected value of um, expected value of x squared. That in fact, um, this is the expected value of x squared. That doesn't change. But this is you know, minus 2 times the expected value of x, which I pulled out times the expected value of x, but that's just the expected value of x squared plus um, e, uh, the expected value of a constant, which is that constant. Um, and so basically what this is saying is that, again, independent of the type of distribution, um, if you want to compute the variance of something, it's possible to simply uh, take Compute what the expected value of x squared is minus the value. It's minus the expected value of x, the square of the expected value of x, and you've computed the um, variance. Um, and it's it's just it's something that might be it might work out to be an easier way to compute the variance um, because you know this. Um, so the so the next question is, uh, given the, that. Uh, Let's see what's a good, maybe right over here is a good place to start. Um, is the next problem, which is um, computing the expected value of x plus y, um, that's equal to the expected value of x plus y um, uh, minus the expected value of x plus y. Um, and I want to compute the square of that, that's equal to um, the expected value of um, x plus y squared minus 2 times the expected value of x plus y um, time, uh, sorry, t y time, oh, sorry, times the expected value of x plus y. Um, plus the expected value of um, x expected value of x plus y um, squared. Uh, is that right? No, that's that's right. That's not right. It's the expected value of the expected value of x plus y in that quantity squared. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, So if we pull this out, then what we've got, what we're interested in is uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, if we've got the expected value of x plus y, uh, we can sorry, we can we can do each of these individually now. So that's equal to the expected value of x squared um, plus the expected value plus the expected value of 2xy plus the expected value of y squared plus 2 times the expected value of, um, you know, we can pr pull this out again, x plus y. What's that? It's minus. Oh, I'm sorry. 
What am I? Thanks. Minus 2 times the expected value of, um, I guess we can uh, split this up again, which is, it's the expected value, well, let's see, x plus y times uh, the expected value of x plus y, again, where I pull those two things out, um, plus um, the expected value of, um, sorry, yeah, uh, the exp sorry, the, right, so the expected value squared of x plus y um, squared, let's see, yeah. Of x plus y squared. Um, but you went from you squared the expected value. Oh, did I do that? Let's see here. Shouldn't it just be e, the expected value squared of x plus y? Expected value squared of x plus y. Because it's yeah, constant. that's right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, and that's equal to, uh, if you want to split that out, what's that? Right. And that's equal to, um, what's it? Uh, right. X plus Y. So um, that's equal to the expected value of X squared plus 2 times the expected value of x times the expected value of y plus the expected value of y squared, right? All right, so um, uh, let's see here. Uh, where was I going with you this? You could have condensed those yeah. two down first. <coughs> yeah, I'm just trying to hold that, on. Because now you've made life more difficult. Yeah, so let me think here. Uh, because all of that condenses down to the expected value you know, right. minus one of the expected value of x plus y. And then you just simplify Right, except I guess what I what I was trying to get at was um uh, let me think here. Uh, I want the uh, let me think about this. Uh, I wonder if we'd just be able to cheat and take that formula which we never did. Yeah, stick it in there Right. Right. Sure. Let me just see if I. I'm having some trouble thinking through this without me just seeing here. Um, uh, did I screw this up? Uh, so I'm trying to get um, to. Uh, Well, I, I, let's just go out and do this. Let's see. So it's the expected value of x squared <coughs> plus expected two times the expected value of x y plus the expected value of y squared um, minus um, two times the expected value of x plus y, which is expected value of x um, squared plus um, Two, so four times the expected value of x times the expected value of y plus two times the value of expected value of y um, squared expected value of y squared um, right uh, actually that's a minus that's a minus um, plus um, the expected value square root of x plus 2 times expected value of x times expected value of y plus the expected value of y squared. OK, so um, what that says actually is, um, did that work out here? Um, right, so, uh, hmm. Did I screw that up? Where are we trying to get to here? I was trying to actually get to this, right, which is that um, given that expected value of x comma y equals expected value of x times the expected value 